Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from Code Karikama with me Abhijit Jagdish. In this video, we will discuss about Atom Text and Source Editor. To start with, we'll have a brief introduction to Atom. We'll then have a look at Atom's homepage to see what information we can find there. We'll then download and install Atom on a Windows machine. Finally, fire up the editor to see how it looks. Let's get started. What is Atom? To put it in simple terms, it's a text editor. It's free, it's open source, and it's released under MIT license, including all of its packages. Atom is gradually becoming the tool of choice for the full spectrum, starting from students and going all the way up to professionals. It is developed from developers at GitHub, and because of this, obviously it has got all the Git controls embedded in it. It supports a wide variety of programming languages like C, C++, C hash, Java, JavaScript, Python, Go, and many more. You could use this as a simple text editor or with some configuration as a full IDE. And I guess because of all this flexibility associated with it, uh, it's sometimes referred to as a hackable text editor for 21st century. Its first release from beta came out on the 25th of July, 2015. And the version during the making of this video is 1.30.0. Well, that was our brief introduction to Atom. Moving on to the next section, let's see how the home page of Atom looks like. In my browser, I will type in atom.io and hit enter. On the Atom homes page at the top, we, you will find all these different sections, packages, themes, documentation, blog, and discuss. When I click on packages, it will take me to the packages page. And at the time of making this video, they had 7,917 packages available for download. These packages are further categorized into featured, trending, newest, and then recently updated packages. Let's say you want to find out all the Python packages available for you to download. In that case, you come to the search bar, you type Python there, and then you hit search. This will give you a list of all the Python packages available for you. The next section on the home page is themes. The themes page looks more or less similar to the packages page. And at the time of making this video, they have 2704 themes available for you to download and use. Further, these themes are again divided, are categorized into featured, trending, newest, and recently updated themes. Going back to the sections on home page, and the next one is documentation. And once you are here, you'll find something which is called Atom Flight Manual. When you click on that, it will take you to a page where you can find all the information or documentation about Atom. Atom basics, Atom packages, moving in Atom, grammar, writing in Atom, tools, configuring API, and many more things. Going back to the documentation section, you'll find something which is called API reference. This is the place where you will go to find all the tools available for you to write your own plugins. Then you have something which is called Atom Forum. This is the place where you would go to discuss everything and anything in Atom world. The next section on the homepage is blog. This is the place where you would find all the information related to current release, previous release, what's coming next, and things similar to that. The next section on the homepage is discuss. Let's say you have a problem and you don't are uh, related to your Atom editor and you need someone's help. In that case, you would come here on this page and click on new topic. This will fire up this new window at the bottom, giving a title, give it a category, and then type in your question here and click on create topic. This will go and create a topic for you and hopefully other people will be able to help you from here on. Going back to the Atom's homepage, and if I scroll down a bit, I'll find three different sections, real-time collaboration, IDE, Git and GitHub integration. When I click on real-time collaboration, it will take me to this, which is called uh, Teletype for Atom. Basically, this is the package available for Atom Editor to download and install. Let's say you have a team and you want all your team members to work on a piece of code at the same time. In that case, you would come here, 
download and install this package on your editor and more. The next one is IDE features. This is the place where you would find all the information related to configuring your IDE, uh, your text editor as an IDE. And then you have Git and GitHub integration. This is the place where you would go to find out all the information on how to use Git and GitHub along with your Atom text editor. Well, that was all about uh, checking out the homepage, Atom's homepage. Uh, let's move on to the next section, which is download and install Atom. I'm on a Windows machine and I'm using Windows 10. So I see Windows for 64 bits, Windows 7 or later here. If you are on a Mac machine, then you would see Mac OS here. And if you are on a Linux machine, then you would say Linux. Click on the download link. And as you can see, I have already downloaded my .exe file. And once your download is complete, go ahead and click on it to launch the installation process. And once the installation is complete, it will fire up the editor for you. And you would see a window like this. The main window is divided into different panes. Let's not go into the detail at the moment. Just right click on one of the pane and then say close pane. Let's do the same on this pane as well. At this point, it's just like any other text editor. From here, you can go and click on file and then click on new file. This will give you a new text file. Go ahead and enter your text here. From here, you could then go click on file again and then save this file for future use. Well, uh, that's about it uh, on downloading, installing and having a first look on the, of the Atom editor. To recap, we started off with a brief introduction to Atom, had a look at its home page and all the information available there. We then went on to download and install Atom. And once the Atom was installed, uh, it fired up the editor for us and we entered uh, some text in our first text file. That's it for this video. In the next one, we shall write a simple Python program, compile it and then try to run it in our editor and see what happens. Thank you.